What's your favorite love story? Love stories are relatable because it gives us a chance to experience something we don't have or want. We all want that moment in Jerry Maguire. You complete me. But some of us never experience it. Or if we do, it's more like 500 Days of Summer when you're stuck in a relationship that's slowly killing each other. Like I hate this song! Wouldn't it just be simple to just let it go? What if we lived in a world where you don't have to deal with the responsibility of finding your soulmate? That you don't have to deal with the high school drama or relationship problems? Let me tell you about that world. In this world, no girlfriends, no boyfriends, no kissing, no sex. I can hear parents everywhere cheering. Woo! Because at age 21, you get the name, face, and GPS location of your soulmate. No bad dates, no heartbreaks. The government has created a system that's nearly perfect. It's been in place for 100 years. It's become the norm. Yeah, people still hook up. Think of it like a recreational drug. You know that most people are doing it, but it's on the low and no one really talks about it. But hey, where's the love story? Well, the story follows Sam Garcia and his girlfriend, Diana Danvers. Did you catch that? Girlfriend. Yeah, those don't exist in this world, but for Sam and Diana, it's all they want. After meeting in rather steaming conditions, the two engage in an illegal relationship which spans over six years, holding hope that the government confirms what they truly believe, that they are meant to be together. Spoiler alert. When the day finally arrives, the worst fears are confirmed. They're not soulmate. Distraught by this news, Sam enlists the help of radical reporter Alexa. Alexa and Sam team up to win back Diana and prove to the world that the system isn't that perfect as it claims to be. At the time of making this video, we have raised over $1,000, and that is seriously impressive. However, we still have a long way to go. We originally intended for this film to be made for $20,000. There were some investors in place who really believed in the script and story. However, things changed and unfortunately they weren't able to contribute. So we are now focused on making sure that we can hit at least minimum production goal. $7,500 is what we need to make sure this film gets made. Keep sharing it. Send it to your friends. Send it to your acquaintances. Send it to your boss. Anything helps. If you think that $5 is not enough, you're seriously wrong. $5 helps to pay for a lot. You ever heard of Little Caesars? That's catering taken care of right there. But we want to shoot this film with a lot of the nice backdrops. The film calls for a very beachy environment. It's going to have a very weird suburban feel. And I live in Union City, which, for the lack of a better term, is the nice hood. So it's going to be a little bit hard to shoot this film around here. So we need help so we can transport our cast over there. We need to make sure that we get the proper permits for the scenes that need it, and as well as pay for the special effects and uh, makeup, because there are some. So anything that you can give would help so much. And we know that we can do this together. So please, help us in creating a world with no more lonely people.